Hey, welcome in. Well, here's the headline. Blue and on celebrates Christmas by doxing father who said, let's go Brandon to Joe Biden. And let's take a quick look at what all the fuss is about. Yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful Christmas as well. Oh, Merry Christmas you. and let's go Brandon. Let's go Brandon, I agree. <laughs> hey, by the way, where, are you in Oregon? <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's also sad too. I mean, it's funny, but it's also sad. But it's not hard to see why uh, leftoids would be extremely upset about this. He's their guy. This is the guy they voted for. And you'd think by now he would understand he was being trolled there. But he's not really with it. So, again, it's kind of sad. It does seem a bit like elder abuse at this point. But then again, this is a guy who will relentlessly demonize half the country that he's president of. I mean, shamelessly so. Also a guy who has never done anything good in his entire very long political career. Somebody who will literally say anything as long as he thinks it's politically expedient. And not that he's actually running anything. Nobody thinks that he's actually making any decisions on his own. He just signs things at this point. But whatever. Uh, let's go, Brandon. <laughs> How about that? But of course, the leftists, uh, they're outraged by this. And because they have no shame, they have doxed him which is a dangerous thing to do. Here's another headline from the Post Millennial. Father who played Let's Go Brandon joke on Biden says he's receiving death threats. I am now being attacked for utilizing my freedom of speech. Well, of course you are. That's their thing. That's what people who like authoritarianism do. So, you know, it's not a good thing. It puts him and his family in physical danger. And also, of course, they're hoping to destroy his life, his career, everything else, right? I guess because they are um, authoritarians. Anyway, it says, after a dad signed off his call to President Biden with a let's go Brandon, along with his greetings for a Merry Christmas, liberals on Twitter freaked out. Of course they did. And they're not liberals, by the way. They're leftists. Uh, claiming that this was just not the way to talk to the commander in chief. Have these people forgotten what they said the entire time Trump was in office? Have they forgotten that? There were people who made whole careers out of being Trump reply guys, relentlessly mocking him. You know, pretty much every anchor on CNN, MSNBC said horrific things about Trump on a regular basis. See, when I, when I say that they are a lunatic screaming into a mirror and they don't recognize themselves, this is what I'm talking about. Anyway, it says, in classic cancel fashion, Ron Filipowski, who monitors Trump's diehard base, uh, took it upon himself to find the Oregon dad and share his details on Twitter. The Oregon dad's name and social media information was posted. That's called doxing. The intent of which, by the way, is to try and intimidate people from publicly disagreeing with them or doing things they don't like because they're authoritarians. When you think about it, it's a very Soviet-style thing to do. It's the next best thing to living in the Soviet Union. You know, they get to denounce and inform on all at once. What could be better? Anyway, Jack Posobiec tweeted this. This is how Blue Anon is celebrating Christmas. And from Ron Filipowski, he disabled a lot of his social media. Not enough. And there's something from another Cretan here. Uh, his YouTube account is still up. And at the top is his video. Apparently, he likes to do box reveals of Pokemon cards with his kids when he isn't being a douche to the president. Because nobody was a douche to the president before this. No, because people like this, they were very respectful to the office of the presidency when Trump was in. It's people like this that have been calling Republican presidents Nazis since the 80s. But again, it only matters when other people do it, not them. Anyway, let's end this off. Reactions to the dad were both supportive and dismayed. Libs of TikTok hoped that in the event the dad gets fired, a GoFundMe is shared. Human Events Daily's Jack Posobiec promised he would. Uh, let's Go Brandon, which is code for F. Joe Biden, has become a common chant at college football games and social gatherings across the country. Now, it does mean that. It also means this is all fake. I did a video on this when it first started. And feel free to check that out. But they're acting like he said, he actually said, fuck Joe Biden, which he didn't. He said, let's go Brandon, which is not vulgar. It's actually kind of endearingly innocent in a way. 
Now let's take a look at this. The trend began when an NBC reporter was trying to cover for a NASCAR crowd chanting F Joe Biden. And she claimed they were cheering for the winner of the race and saying, let's go Brandon. So yeah, it means fuck Joe Biden. It also means I don't believe you. It means this is all fake. But anyway, now that the liberals are doxing him, it appears that the GoFundMe that libs of TikTok and Jack Posobiec discussed may actually be needed. Here's hoping he doesn't lose his job. And that really has to be the cultural turning point when they go after somebody and they don't lose their job, no matter where they work. Because much of the power of the, of the social intimidation lies in that. It lies in the ability to ruin people's ability to make a living. But what's also likely is that uh, they are going to forget about it very quickly. Some other new shiny thing is going to come along, and that will be the new worst thing that's ever happened. So the best thing to do is just ignore them and carry on as usual. Please subscribe, like, and share. That really helps me out. If you'd just like to listen, there's the podcast radio blowing. It's on pretty much every platform. If you look for it, you will find it. Thank you very much. I'll see you next time. <laughs>